on? Doge, why are you trolling? What's up guys? It is day three of the Udos Cosmo build. Oh boy. If you guys checked out last time, we couldn't get the transmission in. I think I might know the issue. So we're gonna make that hour trip out to Omaha again. We're gonna hop in the beater beamer as always, but um, let's go ahead and get to it. All right, so we're back at the shop. So we got the change. We just have one bell housing bolt in here to kind of look, and it's there's a gap of about an inch at the top side. We're gonna pull the trans back out, kind of look at everything and see what's going on, and then we'll put it back in so we can get our measurement for the drive shaft. That's all we're gonna be doing today. Hey, you've got the glasses, Jack. I'm not sure if we'll be able to Oh my God. Oh my God. Is that comment? Now, all of them, dude. What There's like. your guys' comments? Fucking keep them coming. Jesus. Glasses, Jack. Transmission, Jack. Like, you guys are so worried <laughs> about the shit that we don't worry about. Like, it's so great. Like, you complete us. No, like, the dude came at me about my fucking. About my glasses. He's like, your glasses, you need to fucking lay over your hoodie. See, that way you can get more subscribers. Like, how many subscribers do you have? I check in three. I was like, what the fuck, you're gonna come at me, come and get more subscribers. He's like, well, I have a fucking business degree, so I know what I'm talking about. Junior. You gotta, like, push it up. Okay. Woo! Got it. I'm not gonna go through here, I don't know what it goes to. Trash can save the life. Alright, so, we've taken the trans down. We're checking some things. So the first things we need to check are basically the splines and the clutch. So I have the clutch alignment tool here. Clutch alignment tool goes in, no problem. And then, let me do the clutch disc. And then I got another FC clutch disc as well so we could check the splines on the actual clutch itself. So I'll slide that over. And that goes in perfectly fine as well. So we're looking at the car. We have two ideas. The one is that maybe the angle of attack for the motor isn't quite correct and we're out of room. So maybe we gotta get the trans up a little bit higher so we can point it down into the into the motor. Um, or have some other ideas. So we're gonna kinda go through these and kinda see it's a bunch of troubleshooting. But we did confirm that the splines are right, um, the pallet bearing's in there and it's good. Uh, it doesn't have any problems. So, I mean, we're, we're just having trouble pushing it in and we'll see what we can do. Look like something. It's all fucked up a little bit. What happens when you buy a used transmission? Alright, so what we did was we took a look at the end of the input shaft here, and there was a little lip on it that was kicked up, and we think that might have been hitting the, uh, pilot, bearing. the pilot bearing. So we went ahead, we hit it with the, was that a carbide bit on the Dremel? Yeah, yeah we hit it with the carbide bit. Kind of machine it out, deburred it so it's nice and clean. So we're gonna try to get it back up there and hopefully it slides right in after this. So the issue was the input shaft was ballooned out just ever so slightly on the end. After we machined it down a little bit, it was slid basically right in. Right now we're tightening some of the bells and bolts in just to get it flat, flush with the engine. Once we get it flush, we're gonna mes make measurements in the back of the output shaft to the to the differential. We'll get that measurement, we'll send it off to the drive shaft shop. They're gonna cut our uh, cut the drive shaft for me. <laughs> and then we'll install that in and then make a cross member. This is called holy extension. The holy extension? Yeah. How many extensions is that? Jesus Christ. If I went over to my box and got them, I think I can extend it all the way over to the Honda. Jesus. <laughs> holy shit, there's a transmission in my car. Dude. <laughs> oh god, yeah, we gotta cut that really bad. Mm -hmm. That's right. So you got, basically what you have to do is take a 
take a saw and cut this probably bolt hole out completely where the automatic shift used to go. So enough room for the shifter. And then if you look up to the interior, you can see that's the beginning of my, my dash. You're probably gonna have to either find a way to kick the shifter back, which is probably what I'm gonna have to do. And then uh, it should work from there. But I mean, actually, you know, when we drop the engine back down, it might get a little iffy. But it looks pretty good. All right, so what we had to do to make the trans also clear was we had to stack all these, tilt the, engine. tilt the engine back, so basically we had enough angle, so we'd get the engine like that, So because like the way this is, all this stuff up here is hitting on top of the trans, so we got the engine angled down, so we can get the trans in. The trans officially both- take very much pressure or tension at all. Right. And what really helped, helped us is literally undoing the motor mount. So right. there is no tension holding it. We literally had to do two or three minute pumps. Right. Just enough to just angle it. Right, so we angled it back a little bit. But. Now this is definitely, it's definitely on here now. Yeah. Yeah, so we de you definitely have to angle it out. Simply because of this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a saw or something and cut this yeah. section out around the shifter. Is it hitting the tunnel? It's in it really bad. So it, w it wouldn't let us put it here. in if we didn't angle it. So right. you have to angle it. You have to angle the engine. So I mean, if the car's on the lift, it's probably a little bit easier to angle. But yeah, I'm gonna take a saw and cut probably the entire this entire front. All right, so here's a pro tip. If you guys are gonna be doing this specifically in a JC Cosmo, you're gonna to wanna to modify your trans hole here. You wanna cut out probably, probably about an inch or two forward here, and then cut across, obviously make like a little, basically extend this hole out an inch forward. If you do that, you can learn from our mistake and literally just bolt the trans in without even pushing your, your engine up in the front. Um, so the trans will go in, you'll have enough space play up here so the trans can go where it needs to go and learn from our mistake there. So if you guys happen to have a JC Cosmo, you, you can do it that way. You have to cut the hole regardless. So instead of us cut, instead, you know, we didn't cut the hole, so we had to angle the, trans, the engine to help with the transmission install. But now we know that the hole definitely 100% has to be cut. So cut the hole first before you even try to attempt putting the transmission up. Cut the hole, then you can probably do it without it even tilting the engine. Um, also, if you buy a used transmission, Check over the input shaft to make sure it's not mushroomed. It's, you know, they rarely ever get mushrooms. You ever see them screwed up. It just so happened Kenny bought this transmission used and it was mushroomed in the front. So that's why I had to carbide it, flush, and then it went right in. So, yep, we got that. So, what we're gonna do is take a tape measure and we're gonna be our drive shaft shaft specifically because we're still doing the two piece. That's just a measure from the back of the out, that measure from the output shaft. To right here where the the middle part of the drive shaft mounts up it actually gets measured right at the seal to the center of the carrier bearing for the drive shaft right so we're going to measure it up get the measurement sent off to our drive shaft shop we'll have them probably done for us tomorrow and then uh i don't know if we'll get it done tomorrow i'll probably be busy matt's with going vacation i'd be able to fab up a y but right. two brackets here mm -hmm. come forward v them down come straight across right. that would be a solid mount that's something we'll probably fab up, maybe offer it to the public. I know it'd probably be made to order, but I also might come down with a V forward and then put in a rubber block here and then come back and yep. V up. Yep. Cool. So it is in a solid mount. This will definitely have to go. Right. Well, this, yeah, that's just an old exhaust mount. So we can, that's one bolt off. The reason I want a V and come forward, probably come off this way, straight down, kind of where my fingers are at and then across this way, this, whole clip and these clips here are all free to your hand right so my yeah things easier. if you've seen other cos ones like specifically there's one guy that uses the stock uses the stock cross member basically welds a plate straight out he did have to cut a hole in the side of his cross member to get this the speed sensor to fit correctly also one advantage to using the fc in case you're wanting to do an f and a jc out of anywhere the fc the reason i like the fc more is because the speed sensor from the cosmo goes right into the fc so you don't have to do any modification whatsoever you just unhook the sensor off the automatic and plug it right into the, the fc and it works the exact same so we're gonna get the measurements out on this and then uh we're gonna set off the drive shaft shop and probably be done for the day yep okay I would say. Should we put something across it? Uh, no. Nah. Laser eyes. About 33 and a quarter. So you got 33 and a quarter from the 
seal to the, the carry bearing. So we're gonna send that off to the drive shaft shop, we'll cut it to length, weld the Turbo 2 front yoke onto the Cosmo drive shaft so it'll mount up to our transmission. And then uh, we'll get the drive shaft in, fab up a, uh, a mount, cut the center hole out of the dash, or out of the out of the trans tunnel, right here. and then mount the tunnel. One notch below a quarter. So there we go. So the transmission will set up. Then we're gonna install the whole drive shaft. And that way we know everything is in alignment and then we do our bracket. Right. Otherwise, if we do our bracket now, cut the hole, try to do the drive shaft, and let's say the transmission moves up, mm -hmm. our bracket's gonna be off. Right. Uh, and then it oh can, yeah, it's, it's, it's gonna up move up. up. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna move up for sure because it's just chilling on the fucking yep. thing. If you want it in its resting spot. Right. Then Because that way we don't get any extra angle. Correct. Cool. All right, so that's all we got for today. Pretty straightforward. Hope you guys are enjoying this. I know you guys have, have been leaving the comments down below. If you like this content, please be sure to subscribe. We got plenty of cool rotary content coming for sure. Um, but thank you guys for tuning in. Hopefully, we'll have this thing running here probably two, two, hopefully two weeks. Um, oh no, it'll be running before that. But you're gonna be gone for a week. Yeah, you're right. That's what I'm. That's the only part that's difficult. Well, basically, I mean, I mean, you're gonna, you can go and pick up the drive shaft and do all that and right. definitely film, do the clutch and install the drive shaft. You can right. do your clutch. Pretty much. You got it to this point, taking it apart right. before you got my help. Right. So I put it back to the point where you take it apart. Mm -hmm. You should be able to know how to put it back right. together. Yeah, I don't know how to get it back together, but the only thing is basically going to be You're this going part. You're going to need help with the exhaust. You know, right. Mike and Josh and right. people will be and here. will be here. Right. Cool. All righty, so that's all we got for today. Thank you guys for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.